with your top news for this week, I'm Rachel Long. Prospective students might have a little more fun visiting campus now that admissions has rolled out new themed tours. Some of the themes will include Southeast traditions, haunted tours, and walk your dog tours. First time visitors might even get to meet Dr. Vargas. If you're not interested in spicing up your tour, never fear. The admissions office will still be offering the traditional campus tour. Now we'll head over to Justin who has all the details on the Comic Con convention, which took over the Osage Center in Cape Girardeau last week. Around 4,800 fans packed into the Osage Center for the 13th annual Cape Comic Con on April 20th to the 22nd. Upon entering, fans were greeted by Ken Murphy, director of Cape Comic Con. Murphy says that attendance was up from last year. About 20 percent and a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Over 130 vendor tables were set up on the showroom floor filled with comics, games, collectibles, and food. New events this year included a daily scavenger hunt and the biggest costume contest they've ever put on held at Kinder Performance Hall in Cape Central High. Custom crafts and props could be seen throughout the event from many vendors. John Clark is the owner of Galaxy Creations, and he makes all of his designs by hand. I do a few different mediums. I'm a sculptor. I work the EVF foam, and I also do some 3D printing. And then I make molds and cast everything out of urethane plastic. Clark says he loves what he does. Man, it's this is the life. I'm living the dream. Many cosplayers were on hand dressed up as their favorite characters. Captain America and Deadpool were just some of the few mingling with fans. Gade Sweet and Julian Johnston were two cosplayers enjoying the event for the very first time. Sweet was dressed up as his favorite video game character, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. Johnston was masquerading as a stormtrooper from the Star Wars series. On hand were movie stars Lou Ferrigno and Reb Brown. Ferrigno, actor and retired bodybuilder, played the Incredible Hawk in the television series. Brown, an actor, played Captain America in the television film from the same name. Murphy already has his eyes set on next year's Cape Comic Con. Well, of course, of course. Dates are planned, fourth weekend in April, here at the OSA Center, bigger and more fun. My name is Justin Mann for the Aero News Network. In other news, Missouri is at the heart of the opioid epidemic, and Southeast Missouri is among the most at risk. On Wednesday, May 2nd, the Aero will be releasing a special in-depth report that looks at the epidemic in our region. It's closer than you think. Be sure to pick up a copy on the newsstands. That's all for this week and this academic year. The Aero News Network will be back with more of your Southeast news in the fall. But in the meantime, be sure to download the Aero app in the App Store or Google Play. For the Aero News Network, I'm Rachel Long.